Hey, Tim Sykes here. Another great day. I actually ended up picking the single biggest winner on the day. The stock is up nearly 100% now in the tens, and I was buying it in here in the sevens. And I want to explain how I bought it, why I bought it, how to think about this, and how it's okay to not, you know, hold the whole time. And you just take a little chunk, you try and take the meat of the move. So I know this is tough for you guys to understand, but trust me, there's a method to my madness, okay? There's a reason why I have the most millionaire students out of anybody. Even though I look like a coward trader sometimes, my trades are meticulous. And if you want to be my next millionaire student, you too will have meticulous trades. You will stop gambling. You will stop thinking, oh, I just need to make the most amount of money any one day. Look at my trades today. I made a few hundred bucks on both of them. But I was meticulous, I stuck to the plan, and I nailed each one of them. That is what you must do to get very wealthy. Now I should mention, today is December 12, 2016. My trader checklist guide, in the past I was teasing that it wouldn't be free in the future. Well, guess what? This time, it's no joke. Because what I've learned, sadly, and this is, boggles my mind, but you guys do not take free stuff seriously. So I made the trader checklist guide free because I wanted everybody to have no excuse to study, right? No excuse not to study, my bad. You have no risk. There is no money being exchanged. All you have to do is enter the name and email. There is no BS trickery or marketing or anything. It is 100% free. It took me several months to complete. It is revolutionary. It is 11 hours long. I have more chapters coming, but it will only be free until January 1st, 2017. Because as much as I want to give you guys free stuff, you just don't watch it. It's unbelievable to me. And if you do watch it, you watch some of it. And you're like, oh, it's always going to be free. I just don't need to. Well, screw that. Okay? I'm going to change this into premium in roughly 18 days, 19 days from now. Okay? Then maybe you'll take it seriously. And if you're on the fence about studying, well, you've got a little over two weeks. You can watch a half hour a day and watch it all. But whatever it takes, I'm going to get you guys watching this because this guide is all about how to prepare trades, how to plan trades, how to execute trades. And a lot of people seem to be having issues with that. You know, it really, really pisses me off on an AKAO where I'm buying it in the sevens and I'm selling it, you know, according to my plan, looking for the goal, hitting the goal, taking the goal. And then, you know, when I profit a few hundred dollars, but because I sold a little too early or very early, some people are saying, oh, Tim, you're wrong. How does going into a trade with a plan, sticking to the plan, executing the plan, profiting off the plan, how does any of that involve being wrong? Aside from the fact that many of you think that, again, you have to be so aggressive, you have to go for huge wins, you have to go for home runs, and you just don't. That is the wrong way to think about it. Sure, am I sad that I sold too early? Yes. Am I going to lie and say, oh, it doesn't matter? It's $3 a share above where I bought it, okay? It's a little over $2 a share higher from where I sold it. But I locked in my profit in here. I went for the morning spike. I got it. Zero regrets, okay? And a lot of you guys are saying, oh, Tim, but you always sell too soon. That's because you're spoiled by this market. Ignorance is bliss. You don't have the experience that I do over the past 18, 19 years. You only see this bull market and you think that I play too safe. If the market ever changes, which inevitably will happen, I don't know when, but it will, you will be crushed if you have the wrong mindset and the wrong perspective. Right now, it's like, you know, fire at will. There's so many plays. I happen to pick the best play today. That's cool. But if you go into a different market with this gunslinger mentality, you will get crushed. And it's no different than what a lot of these short sellers, these big short seller gunslingers are getting crushed on plays like NVCN and DRYS because they think that you can just bet big and you can aim big and you can just be okay. And that's not what trading is. Trading is being scared. Trading is taking a piece of the move. Single after single after single after single. 
And if you have any doubt as to what it adds up to, well, guess what? These little few hundred dollars, I'm at 4.5 million, okay? And if you want some more proof, well, here's my student, Matt. I actually probably should have given him credit. A few people pointed this tweet out to me. He made 29 grand a few weeks ago on SINO. He was aiming small, but he was in the right place at the right time, and it adds up. Here's Danny. He was in on AKO at 775 out at nine, $1,300 profit. Only trading from his phone and a tablet. So don't make excuses that you can't trade from crap locations. I'm trading from all over the world, so are my students. Here's Stubham, I love this, look at this. But I have to correct this because he says, still lots to learn on my trades. And he's in AKO, you know, at 765, and he's out at eight ninety five, making a dollar thirty, and he's pissed because the stock is now in the tens. Shubham, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Shubham the Sea Lion, you shouldn't be pissed. You just made a dollar thirty, which is a huge gain. Stop being spoiled. This was in less than two hours. So many of you guys are so spoiled by this bull market, and you don't see it, but I do. I'm actually fighting several students in my chat room because they just have the wrong attitude. They have the wrong mindset. And because I actually teach and I actually care about your success, I'm not going to let you have the wrong mindset. I'm not going to let you lie and make, you know, just bad assumptions. And misinformation is the problem. The guy who I was fighting with this morning said that volume was fading. It was like right around here or something, you know. And the stock tanked a little bit from, from 850 down to 820, 830. And he's like, see, I was right. See, see. First of all, the volume was not fading. That's the dumbest fucking thing that I've seen in weeks. This volume is huge. The volume is 25 million shares today. And obviously at 10, 9.30 in the morning, you don't know how it's going to end up. You have no idea. But the volume is not fading right in here, okay? The volume is monster for this stock. And so when you put misinformation, bad information in my chat room, I come down on you like a giant brick that my ancestors used to build the pyramids in Egypt. I will not tolerate bad information or misinformation. And guess what? The guy said something like volume is fading, nothing more to push it up. And since then, the stock is up $2 a share. I might have sold too soon, but I'm not lying about fading volume and that nothing is going to push it up. Okay? This is one of the most active stocks in the entire market. This is one of the strongest stocks in the entire market. This is a record volume day. So to say that there's fading volume right in here, that's bullshit. And I just don't tolerate it. You guys are not just my customers, you're my students. And it does me no good to let you continue believing bad information. Because guess what? Bad information and misinformation is going to cause you to lose. And it's going to make me look bad. So if you want to say that I'm selfish, sure, I'm selfish. Because I want you to do the best and I want you to make me look the best, as my students, I don't want you having bad information and bad ideas. And I know a lot of people were thinking about shorting this morning spike. I don't mind selling too soon, but I'm not on the wrong side of the equation here where I'm like, oh, this company is crap. I'm going to just short this. There's plenty of other people in other chat rooms that think like that. And guess what? They get crushed. You guys might be spoiled in this bull market, but guess what? I'm trying to prepare you. I'm trying to teach you. I'll bring up an idea right here. J-A-G-X. A lot of people were buying this morning spike. And I warned in my chat room, which is time stamped, saying do not trust J-A-G-X. This has tons and tons of failed spikes over the past 100 and 200 days. Failed spike 1. Failed spike 2. Failed spike 3. Failed spike 4. Failed spike 5. Failed spike 6. Failed spike 7. This is just failed spike number eight, okay? And a lot of you guys need to look back at the history of stocks. Oh, that's right. These gains are not caused by me being lucky or me pumping. It's based on the fact that these are patterns that I have learned. That is why I want you watching Trader Checklist because I specifically go over one of the key indicators that I look for when I'm trading a stock, long or short, is has it spiked in the past? That determines how I'm gonna trade it. AKO 
never really had a big spike, so I didn't really have any reason to doubt it. But because it never really had a big spike, I also didn't have that much confidence in it. So I made a few hundred bucks. MPET was an actually much better trade where I shorted it. And I said, I shorted this perennial loser. It never holds big intraday, intraday spikes. This looks no different. Small position size, though, due to it being in the hot sector. Very simple, very simple trade. MPET shorted into this ridiculous morning spike. So it's almost the same. JAGX had the big spike from 1 to 150, and I could have shorted that. I chose MPET because, frankly, at the open, I was dealing with AKAO, and this one was a little later. How do I know that this spike is going to fail? First of all, you never know. But look at this. Just under two weeks ago, there was a spike up to the 720s, and it failed miserably. What happens today? Up to 720, it fails miserably. Are the two events connected? Fuck yes, they are. Okay? It is the same exact pattern. So don't tell me that studying the past has no bearing on the present and the future, because it does. And guess what? Could I have been wrong? Yes. If it had broken out 720, 730, I would have cut losses quickly. It's okay to be wrong. Okay? I, I shorted it at 710. I would have lost 10, 15, 20 cents if I was wrong. But I didn't. I was right. And I profited nicely. And now, actually, uh, it's even lower. I didn't even have to cover. I'd be up nearly a dollar a share. So if you risk losing, you know, 10, 20 cents and you can potentially make a dollar a share, that's called good risk reward. What's risk reward? Where do I hear that from? Where do I explain that? Oh, it's in my trader checklist guy that not enough of you guys are watching. It boggles my mind when I release a free guide like this, how few people are watching it and taking it seriously. This is why I have to charge. For those of you who think, oh, Tim, you're so rich, you don't need to charge. Guess what? Free teaching doesn't work, at least with traders, okay? Your minds are screwed up. You're degenerates. I don't know what the answer is. But what I do know is that when you pay for education, you take it more seriously because now you want to learn, you have a motivation, you want to make back what you paid on the education. If it's all free, you're just like, ah, eh, you know, it's free. It can't be that great. I don't know. I'm just not going to stop. I don't know. I don't understand the, the logic behind it. It blows my mind that this is not more popular. But if you do like it, please share it on Twitter. Share it wherever. Okay, share it on Facebook, TraderChecklist.com. Share the link with people because this is not going to be free starting January 1st. We're going to sell this for $500 and we're going to have the additional chapters. So I think it's useful whether it's free or, you know, a few hundred dollars. I mean, you can pay for everything in one good trade. But in this guide, I talk about past performance, past spiking, history, risk reward. And some of you guys just aren't using that in your trades. And I'm sorry to be so harsh, but I want you to do better. So stub ham the sea lion. You made a dollar thirty. That's a damn good trade. Okay, Javier. I like this on JAGX. I like this trade. I highlighted it not because he made so much money, but because he says, "Look at this." I noticed that JAGX doesn't hold spikes, so I wanted to be quick. If it took out the day high, it was in for one minute. So he recognized that this stock does not hold his gains. And that's why he was locking in his profits so quick. So if you see that a stock hasn't you know, held its gains in the past, that doesn't mean you don't have to trade it. That just means that you have to have the right mentality and you have to be properly prepared. Because if you're not, you're going to get crushed. I know a lot of people who were long IDXG over the weekend and you're down 20%. I might have underestimated how high it could go up. But again, I wasn't on the wrong side of the equation. I knew that it was going to crash eventually you know, as in Monday or Tuesday. And I said this in the watch list over the weekend. I've been looking for shares to short. I couldn't find any shares to short on Friday. Now it's still a potential short. Same thing with SSH. You know, this thing has gotten crushed. And SYRX, huge crush. They also did a financing today. So shorts got a little lucky there. But a little luck never hurts. Okay, I've had some of my biggest wins when I'm getting a little lucky. And if you're on the right side of the equation... Due to preparation and planning, understanding that this stock probably will not hold its spikes, you do pretty well. Sometimes you'll be wrong, but more times than not, you'll be right. Uh, Sujanto, I like this, made, uh, you know, 200 bucks, just taking small little profits. Uh, Chris, 
made nearly a dollar a share on AKAO. Uh, Sniper Trades made a few hundred bucks. And he's on vacation. Jake, I love this, making 200 bucks in 10 minutes. Van Ryan making 500 bucks. Good stuff. People are hitting me up. I don't have time. I'm making a freaking video lesson. Here's a, a first trade from Spencer, and I'm highlighting it because there's a loss. Some people say, Tim, you never highlight the losses. Well, here's a loss. And part of the reason why I don't highlight the losses is people don't tell me, okay? If you want to tell me about your losses, that's great. I think that is very admirable, and that's great. And some losses are good. You know, Spencer cut losses quickly on JGX. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with having losses, and there's nothing wrong with having singles in the market, you know? Uh, I can't begin to tell you how flawed so many people's thinking is, you know? I'm really excited to trade with such a small amount, and making a few hundred dollars to most people, especially on Wall Street, they're like, God, you're a millionaire, and you're, you're trading these pathetic little stocks for pathetic little gains. Because they only think in terms of money. If you want big money, you cannot just think in terms of money. You have to think of your process. You have to think of good habits. You have to think of your discipline and your preparation. That's if you want to make money. If you want to just gamble like all these other chat rooms, by far, do it. By all means. I don't give a shit. I saw some people when I was trying to teach the guy who had the misinformation, and they're like, come on, can we get back to alerts? I pay for alerts. Alerts are the least educational part of my business. And if you think that it's all about alerts, goodbye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Because alerts are the last part of the whole entire preparation process that you should be going through. Okay? So don't let me think and don't let me see that you're like, oh, it's all about the alerts. Alerts are shit. It's preparation and studying. AKAO is now up 100%. So I have literally picked the single biggest winner. If you look at all the winners today, nothing comes even close to AKAO. And I was there right near the open. And I saw some people were like, oh, Tim, you're pumping it. I'm not pumping the biggest winner in the market. It was already up huge amounts. But the news was positive. The chart was positive. My preparation was on point. The only thing I probably could have done better is been a little more aggressive with my target. But seven, eight, nine dollar stocks are not my sweet spot, so I'm not really going to get aggressive with that. You know, EMKR the other day, I nailed it in the 820s, sold it in the 860s, 870s. Again, a thousand shares, nothing huge at all, but it was a nice little overnight win for an earnings winner. So I'm trying to show you the process. It's not just about money, even though many of you think that it is. It's not just about alerts, you know. I did not even trade JAGX, okay. But my warning that the morning spike would fail was on point. And I proved that exact same kind of pattern with MPET. And if you wonder why I have to repeat this, well, some of you have told me that it's good when I repeat it. Because I know I talk fast and these stocks move fast, so I'm going to repeat it. I'm trying to be the best teacher that I can be, okay? So leave a comment if you've made it through 18 minutes of this video and say, yes, I understand, if you understand the gist that I'm getting at, where I don't want you following alerts from me or anybody. I want you planning and preparing yourself and being prepared by studying stuff like my trader checklist guide because this is the key to your success not alerts not following any tips from anybody else i hate that mentality i really despise it none of my millionaire students if you ask them or my six-figure students if you ask them will say oh it was all tim's alerts that got me so wealthy it's the studying it's the video lessons it's the webinars and it's the dvds and i have to say this far too often and you should realize this but I know I'm asking you to work hard and use your brain, which you don't want to, and you just want hot picks, and you just want to copy people's trades. That doesn't make you successful in the market. Studying, preparation, having the right perspective does. So I'm not going to be nice about it. I am going to be a dick about it, and I am going to waste 
chat space. I'm holding up my little hands for, for quote signals because some people, I can quote them and they're like, please stop wasting the chat. I'm here for alerts. You're here for fucking education. And if you're here for alerts, you're not in the right room. You mark my words and you get the fuck out. I'm sorry to be mean, but I have so little patience when it comes to bad attitudes and the wrong mentality because you're not going to be my next millionaire student if you only are here for alerts and you're not here for education and the right mindset. And if I, if you think that I shouldn't come down on somebody who blatantly lied and spread misinformation in my house, in my house, in my house, not in my house. I want more millionaire students. And sometimes I'm going to do the unpopular things that I need to do to make that happen. You go study TraderChecklist.com. You go there right now and you fucking study it. That's today's lesson. I'll see you in the chat room. Shalom.